Uh, good afternoon, Gaffer. Thank you for joining us today. Um, I'll start by asking what are your final reflections on the season opener against Swansea? I thought it was an excellent performance. You know, uh, I think we went there and we looked very strong. You know, we looked together, we looked very competitive, which is the main thing for myself. Um, and to go to a team with a fantastic squad of players there, they've kept their whole squad from last season and added quality to that as well. Uh, they've got a new manager there who's an excellent manager as well. So, you know, to go there the way we did um, and come away and be very disappointed to, to not get all three points was, was a positive. Did you feel like that performance was a really solid foundation to now build off of for these next few games? Yeah, of course it is. It's, it's about being competitive. You know, it's about being hard to play against and being together. And, you know, that's everything that we had last year. And it's something that I want to build again with this new squad of players, you know. And I think the work that we've done over the last six weeks has been, um, has been very positive. And, um, you know, we've seen some good signs. You were able to rotate the team quite a lot for the Carabao Cup trip to Cheltenham. Gave a debut to young Brandon Keller as well. How important was it for you to do that? It's important that we use the squad, you know, it's about the squad. Um, you can see even last week, you know, squad players um, have had to come in on vital times against Swansea and did very well. You know, the, the reason we did well last year is because the squad was used. Everyone is as important as each other. And um, no matter who you are, you know, you'll come in and you'll be ready and you'll be prepared. And, um, you know, that's the most important thing for me going forward, that this squad of players are ready to fight and, and play for each other. The performance against Cheltenham was a really professional one as well. I ended up dominating uh, the vast majority of the game. How impressed were you with what you saw out there? And the most important thing I was impressed with the attitude. You know, it's very, it's sometimes you can go to lower league opposition. Uh, you know, on a Tuesday night in the, in the. Uh, in the cup and, and not turn up and, and have the wrong attitude but you know the, the group of players that performed on Tuesday their attitude was different class and that's why the performance was very solid. Uh, you trained here at the stadium today to get a bit of a feel of the pitch how was how was that for you and how are the lads looking ahead of the game? It was good it's important that we come and have a feel on, on you know all the fantastic work that's been going on over the summer at, uh, and, and have a look at the, the stadium the new dressing rooms and you know it, it's an amazing job that everyone's done here and full credit to the staff and to, to all the builders who have involved, been involved in the football club you know it's they're doing a, ma a magical job and you know we're all very very grateful and you know it's looking great. We're expecting a sellout crowd at St Andrews and more notably it's expected to be the biggest crowd as well since 2020. What does it mean to yourself and the rest of the team for the fans to back you like that? I think the fans back to us last year, you know, it was when I came in last season, it was about getting the connection back with the players and the fans. And we certainly got that. And, you know, um, it's about building this fantastic football club. And with the new owners coming in and the people involved now, you know, it's about getting that connection back with the fans and the football club, you know, and, and we're certainly getting that. And you can see everyone's buying into what everyone wants to do. And, you know, it's about being one. It's been a very tight family. We're Birmingham City. You know, we stick together no matter who we are. And, um, you know, this club's going to grow now over the next two, three seasons. And, um, you know, it's a real special place to be working at the moment. There's a lot of excitement as well for this game amongst the fan base who I'm sure will be in fine voice on Saturday. How much does that help the lads and how buzzing are they to get out there in front of them? Yeah, well, since I've been here, the, the boys are, you know, have been ever so grateful with the support the fans have showed. And, you know, again, you know, it's about getting a connection with the fans and, and the players. And, and, you know, the fans have been magical and, um, you know, we, we just we know how important they can be. There's going to be some really difficult moments throughout this season, which there were last season. And it's about being one and getting through it together. Looking at Leeds, they'll provide a really, really tough test. Uh, but you'll feel like you can give anyone in this league a good game, won't you? It's just important that we're competitive. I think last season we proved that we were a very competitive team uh, and we have to continue all our values and all our principles on, on that going into this, this new season. I think we showed on Saturday against Swansea that we were a competitive outfit and um, you know I'm hoping Saturday against a, a top, top Premier League team coming down into the Championship with Premier League players, you know, can, we can be just as competitive against them. How do you expect Leeds to come out under their new boss, Daniel Fark? They were certainly very attacking last time out against Cardiff. Yeah, as I've just said, you know, they've got an excellent squad, you know, um, a very good manager there, you know, they're a big club and, you know, we know it's going to be a difficult task, but, you know, one that we'll be ready for and, and we'll be prepared properly for. Finally, in terms of in injury news, um, how are George Hall, 
Lee Buchanan, Ethan Laird and, and Tyler Roberts are doing. I know it'll be a little bit longer for Mark Roberts. Yeah, look, listen, all the chaps trained today, you know, they all look very good. Um, you know, we rested three of them on, on Tuesday night at Cheltenham. You know, the lads that came in for them were exceptional and, um, you know, everyone will be hopefully fully fit and raring to go on Saturday. Thank you very much, Gaffer. Thank you.